Hey, how y'all doing? I just want to mention, my wife and I have a couple of times recently talked about how because of this, the way the online school is going, like, if and when we go back, it's going to be next year, we're not going to get to have our, our goodbye with all you guys in our classroom again. That sucks, man. I'll just see some of you in the halls as you're walking past and stuff. It'd be cool if maybe the first day of school, you could go to your last year's teacher and have a full day to whatever. But we'll see. Who knows? Anyway, so miss you, love you. God bless you and yours. All right, so today, the last lesson of the week we're going to review was on core titles. And we already did, yesterday was box plots, so we already dealt with the core titles. But I kind of, when we did it during the year, we did it in the opposite order. First, we broke down number sets and put them in order and then divided in quartiles. This review, we just went straight to box plots. They were already divided up and we had to uh, find out, you know, which had the highest maximum or which had the lowest me median or whatever they asked you. Today's lesson, they're just going to give you data sets, which is just numbers. And, and a lot of them, they're already in order for you. Step one is always put them in order, least to greatest, okay? Sometimes they will have the first few digits all in order, really small numbers, and you kind of glance to the other side or you subconsciously see the other side is really big numbers, but then there'll be a few numbers in the middle that are all flip-flops. So you need to double check just to make sure. Um, I don't know about y'all, sometimes before I do work or homework, I need a little snack, so. Chocolate is man's other best friend. Oh, it's not showing up. That is so weird. Where is it? It's not wanting to show up. There it goes. Hey, and a cool thing, my wonderful wife, the day after Easter, day after Halloween, day after holidays, are great days to go buy greatly discounted chocolate. So I guess I'm just going to have some chocolate here to start off my snack. There we go. Well, gosh darn it. See if you, yeah, there they go. You can see it. Okay. All right. Seeing all those eggs makes me feel like a... <laughs> okay. All right. Not fun unless you have a mess to clean up afterwards. Okay, so real quick, let's go to screen share. I want to remind you of one thing so you don't get tricked by a couple of things they like to do. We're going to go to Well, pardon me, y'all. I'm just gonna go to screen. That's what I'll do. I'll switch back and forth. We're gonna do this one first. And if it lets me move it, well. That was the, what, where'd it go? There we go, what? This one, all right, this one's first. Okay, so I've got two uh, pages of random number sets and I'm just gonna show you a couple quick things. Um, we are going to, I'll get red. So these are already put in order, least to greatest. We have two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14. So once you have them in order, you want to find the, what do we call it? The median, the middle, okay? So in class, I would always jokingly say, get out your thumb cans, boys and girls. And we would put our thumbs on the outside. You can't see me doing it. You put your thumbs on the outside too. I'm just gonna cross them off as we go, okay? So I keep going until I get to the middle, okay? And then you can kind of see what's going to be in the middle, eight. So that's the median, okay? I forgot I can use my finger to write this a little quicker. Now, once you've done that, I'm going to clear that for a second. So I found that eight is my median, okay? So a lot of times I'll just put a little M there. Now I need to look at these three over here. I cannot use this eight. I just used it. It's gone. It's spoken for. It is now called the median. I need to go to the left side, which is the lower side, the least um, value numbers, and I want to find the middle of those, which would be the four. It's pretty easy to see. It's in the middle, right? 
So that's going to be my Q1, quartile one, my lower quartile. And then over here, the middle over here is quartile three. Now what I've actually just done, and it's hard to tell because I have such a small data set, just to show examples, is I have divided this data set into four equal sets. I have this here, and this here, this here, and this here, okay? Now, it really affects what your answer is gonna be. You know, I just noticed, let's get me a little bigger there. There we go. Um, depending on whether you have an even number or odd number, um, can affect greatly um, how you find your medians, okay? So here I only have five numbers, so the middle is obviously this one, six. But now what do you do? I have no middle number, I just have two numbers left. And remember, I'm not using this six. So basically, whenever that happens, I have a tie. Oops, and when you have a tie, you add and divide. Or you, if you can see what's halfway in between them, like I just did two, four, six, eight. So you could see that halfway between two and four is three. If you had really big numbers like 57.5 and uh, 93, you just add them and divide them and get the average. You add then divide, you add then divide. Remember our video with the flies? Okay, so two plus four is six, divide it by two, three would be the middle. Or if you can just see the middle is two, three, four. So I put a three here and that's my Q1. Okay, same thing on the other side. This is the easier one. The next two number sets are gonna be a little different, okay? So the halfway point between these two numbers is nine, and that's called, I hope I forgot I can use my finger, Q3, okay? So it's gonna wobble me a little bit when I write on the screen, okay? All right, so let's clear all that. I'm gonna go to, select mouse, Look at this other number set. There's something completely different that happens. We have two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14. And so if I wanna find the middle, you can count them all up and just divide them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven numbers. So the middle one's gonna be this eight. It's the fourth one in. I'm gonna have three on this side and three on this side, okay? So that's awesome. Is this the same data set I just did? Oh no, okay. So then that's my median. And then over here, the four is my Q1 and this is my Q3, okay? Then down here in this number set, I can see that the six is my median and I'm stuck here again with the tie, just like on the last board. I have ties, so the middle here is gonna be a three, and the middle over here is gonna be a nine again. So that's Q1 and Q3 again, okay? So that's, the IXL we're gonna work on today, it doesn't do many ties, I don't know if it did any ties. I did like 12 or 14 problems. So let's get on with that. Let's clear all this. That was just a review, and you guys, I've done all this earlier in the year, so now we should be able to, nah, keep pulling up the wrong picture. Now we're going to go here to IXL. Why did it do that? Ah, uh, cooperate. Okay. Okay, so this is how hard it is. We are on IXL CC6. It's for seventh grade. And it only took four questions, I believe, to get to master's or challenge, but I included just a couple extras to show you a couple other vocabulary words or definitions, okay? So here we have, I'm gonna use my finger. We have, uh, what's the lower quartile? That would be Q1, okay? So first of all, are the numbers in order? One, four, six, seven, eight, eight, nine, check. Yes, they're in order. What's the middle? So you can use your thumbkins or whatever. Um, and you can find that the middle is going to be that seven right there. Let me, let me just do that. Okay, the seven is the median. And then the Q1 is going to be halfway between the one and the six, which is the four. Okay, 
So mouse four, easy. Okay. All right, simple enough. Go to the next one. Much larger data set, a lot of repetition in here. And if they give you these out of order, you have to be very careful in making sure you count how many fours are there, how many sixes are there. Let me get my how many eights are there. Make sure you don't miss one. That's a common mistake is you have not enough or one too many. Okay. All right. So let's see. I'm going to use my thumbkins to find the middle really quick. Or you can just cross them off. For, this is a lot. So I'm going to go two at a time. You could go three at a time. Cross them off as you go. There's two on each side. I'm going to do two more on this side. Two more on this side. Do two more on this side. Oh, why am I using my fingers, Dan? Two more on this side, and then one on this side, one on this side. Uh oh, it's like I'm gonna have a tie here, guys. So, what's the halfway point between six and eight? It's gonna be a seven. All right, I'm just gonna clear this to make it a little nicer. So, here is my middle, my median. Now, I need to find the halfway point on the left side, the lower side. That's what they're asking me for is a lower quartile. I don't even need to mess with the upper or, or Q3. So Q1 is going to be halfway between here. I got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 numbers. So there's going to be 4 on both sides. So I'm going to have a tie again for the middle. There is no actual middle of this side. So what's halfway between 4 and 6? I can add them together. It's 10 divided by 2 is 5. Or you can just see the halfway point in between them is 4, 5, 6. So 5 is my Q1. So I'm going to put mouse. Click there, five, boom, brilliant. All right, let's look at the next one. This time, let's find the upper quartile. Now, I see a 27 here, but then here's a 20 over here, and there's a 20 and a 20 in here. So these are not in order, kids. We are gonna have to put them in order. So look for the smallest one, is going to be the 20. That looks like a 26. What's the next smallest one? I got a 26, a 27. Okay, so 26. And then two 27s. It might have been better to type this. Then the 40s next. Then the 79 and 80. Okay, so that's all you do. Now, I have how many? One, two, three, four, five, six, Seven, and you want to count up here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. It's best just to double check your count to make sure you didn't accidentally miss one. All right. So now I know there's seven. I know there's going to be three on each side with the the oddball. It's going to be the middle. So one, two, three. This twenty-seven is going to be my median. So now I still have another twenty-seven over here. Okay, for this side, and then here's the other side. They want the upper quartile, which is Q three. Halfway between here is going to be this one, 79. Mouse select, 79. Oh, yeah. Okay. couple more. You all remember this now. So I'll come back to you. Oh, here's where. The, and this is where um, a lot of times you have to do all everything. Okay. They're asking for everything here, the median, the upper, and the lower. And we're going to have to put it in order. Now, it looks like it's in order, 22, 20. Um, Okay, shush. Okay, so 22, 28, 34, 44, 52. Man, it's all looking good. But then the last two numbers are not in order. So we are going to have to write them in order. I'm going to type it because it's a little nicer. So the 22 was still good. The 28, then 33 would need to move up. And then 34, then 38, then 44. And 52. I think that's all of them. Let me count them. One, two, one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Got them all. Okay. So now there's seven. So this is the middle right here. That's my median. All right. So the median, I can come over here and hit mouse 34. Then the lower quartile is going to be the 28 right here. 
my Q1, that's my Q3, upper and lower, okay? Mouse, lower quartile is 28, upper quartile is the 44, okay? So we found all three, and we had to put the numbers in order. First thing you always gotta do is put them in order, okay? We said that all year, or ever since we started doing these at least. Okay, clear that. Okay, that's right, I did two master level questions, okay? They're not that difficult, okay? First, we gotta put them in order. I'm gonna use a text box. I have five numbers, that's not very many at all. It should be easy. So what's the smallest one? 14, and in the 20s would come next. I see a 27, a 29, and then we're in the 30s. We got 30 even and 31, okay? So now I'm gonna go back to draw. I got one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Got them all. They're asking me for the interquartile range. We just reviewed that on the last lesson. So range is the maximum minus the minimum. So on this one, the range would be 31 minus 14, but that's not what they're asking. Okay, that's the range of the whole data set. They're asking, I'm gonna erase this. Oh, I didn't mean to erase the text box. <sighs> One more time. 14 comma 27 comma 29 comma 30 comma 31. So back to draw. They're asking the inner quartile range. So I gotta find quartile one and quartile two and find the Q range, okay? So I gotta do even more than the last problem. Okay, so the middle is obviously gonna be that 29. That's the median, okay? But for Q1, I have two numbers only, it's a tie. I'm gonna have to find the halfway point there, okay? So you take, you can either add the two together or you can count to find halfway. So if you add them together, you're gonna have 30, 41 divided by two. So we're gonna have 20.5, okay? That's our Q1. Q3 is a little easier. These two numbers are right next to each other. The halfway point is between 30 and 31 is 30.5. So the Q range, the IQR, interquartile range or Q range is Q3, minus Q1, okay? So it's 30.5 minus 20.5, that's 10, okay? They made it easier than it looked. A lot of times they do that, they're nice. It looks really nasty at first. So you just follow the steps. Okay, last one, and we're done, guys. Okay, so here we have a much bigger data set, and they're also wanting the IQR, okay? So it's the same exact problem that we just did, it requires just a little more time and work. So let me come up here and the smallest number I see, oh, I lost the text box. I see in the 16s, is there anything smaller than that? Oh, there's another 16.4, another 16.4. So there's three 16.4s or 16 and 4 tenths. If you want to say it mathematically, I think we're all good with 0.4, 16.4. So that takes out three numbers. Is there anything in the 20s? No, is there anything in the 30s? Oh, I see a 34, I see a 33, and I see a 32. So they're in reverse order, 32, 33, 34. Okay, is there any 40s? There's a 41. And let me see if I can stretch this out. So after 41, what's in the 50s? I have a 52 and a 52.2. So they're giving us some decimals in this one, 52.2 or 2 tenths. All right, is there any 60s? Nope, and is there any 70s? There's two 70s, you got 75.7. This is one where they're making it look pretty hard. It may not be that hard, let's find out. I did hear a couple of students went ahead and worked ahead and did these already and said that we were very annoying, time consuming. This is why. Okay, so now I'm going to quickly count one, two, three, 
4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. We got them all. Good job. So what's the middle? If there's 11, that means I'm going to have 5 on one side, 5 on the other side, and that middle one is going to be the median. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So my median is right here. Double check. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 on that side. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 on that side. So that's my median. Now because I have 5, on each side, that makes it a little easier. I don't have any ties to find Q1. So I'm going to use my thumbkins. Okay. I'm going to move my way in. And here is the middle. So this is Q1. Same thing. I'm moving my way into the middle. And here it is. That's Q3. So the inner quartile range is what they're asking. So that's Q3 minus q1 as we just did so q3 we have 52.2 minus q1 which is 16.4 we're going to borrow from that 2 uh, 12 minus 4 is 8 and when we add and subtract decimals we line them up and drop them down so that decimal is going to go right there one cannot subtract six from it so i have to borrow from this five so 11 minus 6 is 5, and 4 minus 1 is 3. So we have 35.8. All that work, 35.8. Oh, brilliant. There it is, guys. Okay, um, sometime later this afternoon, or first thing tomorrow morning, I will post a review video for the week for our test. So make sure you get all of these IXLs done for the week. And again, I thought this was an easier week than last week. It was less IXLs. They were easier. Okay. So everybody get them done. Everybody should get all hundreds. All right. God bless you guys. Let's find out how to stop share. There it is. All right. Douglas out.